Well, Weezer, the sharpest dog on the trail, the greatest sniffer of them all, the coon hound, and the big coon, the 400-pounder, is at, is at that old campfire side, drinking coffee from that old iron pot. Yeah, the blue tick, the dog of thunder, is still there with them, but soon he will be gone. Well, as they sat there, they, they, they had drinking their coffee for at least an hour and a half that morning. Just seemed like it was just a few seconds ago. It was the same alien spaceship, the flying saucer, that had taken Firecracker down up into the galaxies and experimented on him and brought him back because they couldn't find anything that made him tick. Yes, yeah, that same flying saucer, it landed there at the old campfire site. It was the most beautiful ship that you've ever, ever seen. Well, the big old door opened up. The stars let down and touched the ground. Yeah, there she was. The most beautiful cat that you've ever seen. Well, we knew her name already because we was told that she would be there soon at the old campfire site. Yeah, there she was. The black, white, and orange. The black, white, and orange. The calico. That we know her name is Weeper. I don't know why Weeper was brought to Earth down to the old campfire site in the alien spaceship. That's a mystery to old Weezer and the big coon. Oh, they couldn't figure it out. For no one from Blackbird Mountain, no one from Blackbird Mountain had told them that Weeper would be arriving at the old campfire site in an alien spaceship. So I guess what we're going to have to do, we know why Weeper's there, to take them to the path that is supposed to lead them to the crystal ball. And if they were to find the crystal ball, then they have found Blackbird Mountain. And they have found other two mountains. They found Blackberry Mountain, and they would have found Soda Pop Mountain. But you know, Weeper seemed like she was kind of tired and wore down. So she said, I'm just going to stay at the campfire site for a few days and get rested up, because that alien spaceship ride... It just tuckered me out. Well, she said, I'm not going to say anything right now. Said, I don't drink coffee. I drink alien juice from the planet Zytar. And I brought plenty with me to last the spell. So Weezer and the Big Coon, they told Weeper Cat as she walked up to the campfire site to get her rest. In a couple, three days, we'll set back out on the trail. We'll go back on the trail and search for that crystal ball down the path that you take us to so we can find this mountain, so we can find this mountain of gold, the Blackbird Mountain that we've been searching for over 25 years now. Over 25 years we've been searching for Blackbird Mountain. Maybe this path will end our search. And we're really, really anxious and hope it does. But a crystal ball is not easy found. It's not easy found at all. Because it's magical. It could be there. You could see it. You could have it in your hands. And it could just disappear. It's whatever the crystal ball wants to do. So I'm going to leave you right there for now. I'm going to leave you there for now. 
We're still on the search for Blackbird Mountain. The alien spaceship has brought Weeper, Weeper to our campfire site. And the big coon and I, we're just going to sit at the site for just a spell longer. We're going to drink coffee from that old iron pot. So what we say to you for now, even Weeper says it, just stay tuned, stay tuned, and we may find that crystal ball. And if we do, we have found Blackbird Mountain. But for now, we're just going to have to leave you there. So stay tuned. We'll be back in just a little while.